Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Shark, showing animals respect and kindness. Since 2000, there has been an annual National Animal Rights Conference. In the past few years, the conference has alternated between Washington, D.C. and Los Angeles. With many speakers from around the country and the world, the conference has great potential to educate people about animal issues and empower people to take action. When it comes to taking action, however, I've never seen the animal protection movement less active, at least when it comes to field work. Why is that? Activism in the U.S. nowadays largely consists of leaving YouTube comments, signing petitions, attending vegan potlucks, or attending conferences and galas. Thanks to leaders who are mainly bureaucrats, there is little actual boots-on-the-ground work. A couple days ago, I looked at the program for the 2016 Animal Rights Conference and saw this heading for the closing plenary. We're winning. We're winning? We're winning. A claim of victory. In the Shark Team's decades of experience, nothing could be farther from the truth. There are all too many examples. In Pennsylvania, there's but a tiny handful of dedicated individuals who join Shark's efforts to continuously document and expose live pigeon shoots. Dozens of humane organizations in Pennsylvania steadfastly refuse to take action on the streets to educate the public or to protest and save animals in the killing fields, not to mention factory farms and puppy mills. While Shark's frontline efforts has driven the number of pigeon shoots and pigeon shooters down, there are still far more pigeon shooters than animal protectors out to help their victims. In Oklahoma, where Shark works to expose corrupt U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe for his cruel and cowardly live pigeon shoots, there's but a tiny handful of local people involved, and no organizations. There are far more Inhofe lackeys than animal protectors. Shark recently spent three weeks at the mouth of the Columbia River on the border of Washington and Oregon to document and expose the government's mass killing of cormorants. We located the killers and then put out a call for activists and boats to help document and expose the killing. There are supposed to be lots of good activists in the Northwest, but for one single exception, Northwest area activists were no-shows for the entire three-week period we were there. Last winter, we spent time in Central California documenting cruelty and pollution at dairy farms. We were stunned by how much evidence was easily gathered. With many supposed activists and a number of farm animal organizations between San Francisco and Los Angeles, how is it that this isn't being exposed on a daily basis? In June 2015, Shark worked with an organization called Fish Feel to document and expose the contest slaughter of cow nose rays in Maryland, near Washington, D.C. This indefensible killing occurred near the location of the Animal Rights Conference, in an area where a number of large humane organizations are headquartered. But Shark and Fishfield were the only organizations at that slaughter, and I expect the same will apply in June 2016. Rodeos occur across the U.S., and other than Shark's efforts, there's hardly a camera to be found from the animal protection community. We're winning? We're not winning. I wish we were, but we're not, and we shouldn't be pretending otherwise because it lulls potential activists into a sense that everything is okay and they don't need to do anything. The cold and very hard fact is the animal abusers want to hurt and kill animals more than we want to save them. And the notion that we are winning is absurd. While there are some fine organizations in animal protection and some true heroes for the cause, the movement generally has become more of an industry, rewarding the mass marketing of propaganda over activism, with a number of outright scam artists thrown into the mix. Individuals have gone from being activists to slacktivists, 
And that's fine with the so-called leaders of the animal rights industry, just so long as those slacktivists keep sending their money and attending all the conferences and galas. Few people want to tell it like it is, because that might upset the money flow. Now, at the 2016 National Animal Rights Conference, there is a declaration, we're winning. Nonsense. Nothing but feel-good nonsense. At best, this plenary should be labeled, are we winning? And I would argue in the negative, and would present the aforementioned examples and so much more to support my argument. I sent an email suggesting that very thing to the organizers of the conference, twice, and they have declined to even respond. This video won't make me very popular with the bubble people in the movement, those who live in something of an imaginary world, but I'm not here for popularity. If all this movement is going to stand for is fundraising and pumping out propaganda, we might as well call ourselves NRA light. None of the guns, but just as much bullshit. I've long supported this national conference because of the potential it has to educate and empower, but it has not lived up to anywhere near its potential. Generally speaking, the animals deserve a better movement. Society generally wants animals to be treated better. We've seen changes in the public's perception and regard for animals. The animal protection movement should lead the way, not just with lofty sounding drivel and propaganda, but with lawful, ethical, nonviolent action. The animal protection movement needs to be out where the cruelty occurs, documenting and exposing animal abuse due to government mismanagement, corporate sponsorship of cruelty, illegal blood sports by the rich and politically connected, and the list goes on and on. If you think the 2016 National Animal Rights Conference should discuss where this movement is really at, as opposed to falsely declaring victory, and if you think this movement needs boots-on-the-ground activism, please send an email to the organizers of the conference. Ask them not to make a declaration of victory but instead make this a session that looks at where we really stand so we may accurately chart a way forward to a better world for animals, the environment, and ourselves. Please be professional and polite at all times, and please let us know of any response you may receive. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.